Hello, my name is Melissa Brett. My husband John and I own and operate Weldon Hardware here in the center of Sinsbury on Station Street. Today, I would like to talk to you regarding chainsaw safety and maintenance. We have seen hundreds of customers with chainsaws in the past few weeks, many of whom are first-time saw owners. We make it a point to walk all first-time chainsaw owners through the proper starting, usage, and storage of their chainsaw. First off, it's important to have safety equipment. We recommend a helmet system consisting of head, face, and hearing protection, eye protection, thick work gloves, chaps, and steel-toed work boots. This may seem excessive, but we have heard of too many people having one slip and serious bodily damage. Now, each brand and model of chainsaw is slightly different, so I'm not going to walk you through on how to start your chainsaw. We strongly suggest you read your user's manual completely before you start using your new saw. A huge issue for first-time users is that they do not tension the chain on a regular basis while using the saw. The chain is too loose, it will come off. If too tight, the chain will bind and overheat. All chains stretch with use. In these two pictures, you will see a saw with improperly loose chains. Do not run your saw with the chain this loose. Damage can occur either to the chain, the bar, or you. If the chain is hanging at all from the bar while not in use, it's too loose. Refer to the user's manual of your specific saw. There are different ways for a chain to be tightened, all based off the brand and model of your saw. Now in this picture, the chain is properly tightened. When you pull up on the chain, it barely rises, showing the drive links. If you're not sure how to tighten your chain, you cannot find your manual, bring your saw to your local power equipment shop, such as ours. We'll show you how. We recommend that every user have at least one extra chain for their chainsaw. That is because a chain can become dull very easily. Accidentally hitting the dirt, rocks, or nails can instantly dull or damage a chain. If you try cutting with a dull chain, the extra pressure you apply while cutting can increase your chance of damage to you and your chainsaw. Your chain needs to be sharpened or replaced if you notice any of the following signs. The saw is cutting crooked. The cut shows fine sawdust in instead of chips. You find yourself pressing down hard to keep cutting or you smell burnt wood. Every saw user should be familiar on how to remove, replace, and properly tension your saw. Also note that there are many different replacement chains for chainsaws. We often get an inquiry for, oh, 18 inch replacement chain. But if we don't know the brand and the model, it's a guessing game on the exact one to sell. Printed on most of the bars of the chainsaws are identifying numbers and letters. Here you can see the identifying information off the bar length, drive links, pitch, and gauge. Armed with this information, getting a replacement chain is a snap. When cutting, never use the tip of the bar, as this may cause the chainsaw to kick back. Kickback of a chainsaw is when the teeth on the chain catch on something as they rotate around the tip of the blade. The teeth may have enough force to cause the blade to kick back violently towards you, hence the term kickback. Always cut at the middle of the bar. Don't saw with the tip. Now today's fuel is a huge issue, especially for small two-cycle power equipment like chainsaws. We have found an incredible product that will eliminate the need to dedicate a gas can for your two-cycle equipment, buy the special two-stroke oil, treat the fuel with fuel stabilizer, and so on. True Fuel is a product that is pure gasoline, a minimum of 91 octane with no ethanol added, along with the proper two-stroke oil added, as well as fuel preservative. It is already mixed to the precise ratio of your equipment needs. All you have to do is pour. No measuring, no cleanup, and with a vapor tight seal and childproof cap, no worries either. True Fuel never contains ethanol. Ethanol may be okay for automobiles, but not for small two cycle engines such as leaf blowers, line trimmers, and chainsaws. What most people don't know is that big problems can arise 
when gasoline containing ethanol is left unused for more than about a month. The ethanol and the gasoline attracts water from the atmosphere and the two bond together, a process called phase separation. Having water in your fuel mix, well, it's not good. Ethanol is also a par powerful solvent and when separation occurs, it often degrades rubber fuel lines and plastic components, causing unnecessary maintenance problems and reduced lifespan for your power equipment. True fuel is specially engineered for two cycle engines. It never contains ethanol. We have thoroughly tested the effectiveness of this product on new and used equipment and can confidently conclude that for all your two cycle power equipment, true fuel is the way to go. Many of our customers can testify to this personally. Now, if you have a question or topic that you would like featured on this segment, let us know. Visit our website at www.weldonhardware.com. I look forward to the next editions of Headlines Sinsbury. Remember, we're at your service. Thank you, and God bless.